Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. If you wanted to go farming back in 1962, this little orange plow puller was about as handy a tractor as you could find. Just a real good all-around little tractor, and, and you can do so many different things with it. Orlo Toquam has farmed in southern Minnesota all his life and first started driving orange tractors more than 50 years ago. Though he likes the D-15, his pride and joy is his own Alice WD-45. That 45 diesel is my prize because simply because I, I have had it so many years and I've overhauled it. It's got a tremendous amount of hours on it and it's kind of what put the bread and butter on, my, on our family's table for, for 40 some years. The Alice Chalmers D-15 was not one Orlo farmed with and he's not about to start working it now either. Well, it depends on what we're doing. I don't like to scratch them up. <laughs> I spent too much time getting them looking like this. Orlo found this tractor in Nebraska, and in between doing his farm work, he took about three years to make it look like new. I think they probably used it for some chores. Uh, there was a lot of rust in the wheels, and if you use it in the barnyard, that's gonna happen. There's lots to like about the D-15, for one, this tractor has a four-cylinder diesel engine, and there weren't many D-15s with diesel power. It also offered power steering and a smooth shift-on-the-go transmission. Well, this is the high and low uh, uh, for the transmission and the different speeds that we have in this tractor. Uh, back is, uh, is low range, and in the middle is the neutral, and forward is the high range for uh, the transmission. So we have a four-speed transmission to start with and one reverse, but by using this, high, this, this shifting lever, we get two speeds out of every gear. And both the front and back wheels were easy to adjust in or out to cultivate different crops. 1948, came, uh, Alice Chalmers came out with this patent where uh, you loosen up these four lock nuts there and then, then you drive, then you get on your tractor and, uh, and step on the brake, the opposite brake, and it'll just spin that wheel right out. With no, again, with no jacks and in a safe way. A number of years ago when these tractors were new, we, we were doing more cultivating. And so it was necessary to change your wheel, uh, adjust your wheel spacing many times a, a summer. And uh, this made it real easy. Another thing that was easy was hooking up plows and other implements with the patented snap coupler hitch. Snap coupler hitch that they came out with in 1953 is, uh, this is part of it here. Uh, you just unhook this, the uh, drawbar, these two pins, and then pull the drawbar off, uh, and then uh, you uh, uh, back up to your implement and the, the main part of the, the, the plow, for instance, or whatever, slides into that bell underneath there. And then you hook the, the lifting mechanism from the plow or the implement into here and off you go. This thing, this part here is not supposed to be on there. But uh, I put this guard on, kind of protect the, the radiator a little bit. and. Uh, a friend of ours says, oh, that'd be a perfect place to put some little flags. So that's how that happened. Speaking of things that aren't exactly standard, the D-15 is correctly painted, what Orlo calls corporate orange. But he likes that shade so well, he's also decided that his other Alice tractors should wear that color too. This tractor here is a 1955 model. And in 1955, Alice Chalmers was using what they call a Persian orange too. And, uh, but I painted mine a corporate orange, which they came out with as a factory color in 1961. I just did not care for that that uh, lighter Persian orange. So uh, that's this tractor here is painted wrong because it's uh, it's the wrong color. But for me, I painted that that color on purpose, and and I'm happy about that. No matter the color. There's no doubt Orlo's got the fever for preserving the past. Tractors and farm machinery aren't the only thing that I like to do work with. I do have this little 44 Deluxe Coupe that I bought in 1958. Took it all apart, 
thinking I'd restore it in a couple of years. I had the body off the frame about every bolt there was out of it. But uh, then in fi finally in 1998, 40 years later, I got to it and started looking for the pieces that had gotten scattered around and and it took a couple of years but we've we've gotten it together and as much as I have orange blood in me I'm not going to paint this orange thank you <laughs>